All right, so uh, all packed up. It's uh, about three hours before my flight, so I'm getting ready to head to the airport. Vegas 43, baby. Okay, so we made it to the airport. I hate driving. Actually, I just hate other drivers. Another good reason not to rent a car, which I'm not doing again. So, and I'm waiting for the shuttle bus that'll take me to the airport. I got here exactly two hours before the flight, which is what you're supposed to do. So, yeah. Anyway, it's hot and muggy and icky. It's going to be, it's probably not even as hot in Las Vegas as it is here. It certainly isn't as humid. So, much cooler there in more ways than one. All right, we'll see you soon. <laughs> might see you. We're at the beer house and uh, just wanted to uh, get a little footage here. Might get a little bit more at the end, but uh, really uh, having a great time here hanging out with these people. A lot of great Vegas people, so I have yet to gamble. I have drank. Alright, there we go. Everybody. Good morning. It is day one and a half. <laughs> um, just wanted to make a few comments here this morning. It's Wednesday. Um, you saw just a little bit of footage at the uh, prior to this uh, confessional of uh, the Vegas Summit 2 last night at the Beer House. Um, it's a great time. I had intended to do a little bit more footage here and there, but my phone was uh, was running on fumes, and uh, I did bring the uh, camcorder, and that's what I recorded that little, I don't know what you want to call that, <laughs> little description of, of some of what was going on there last night. Uh, 
My friends Dave and Michelle, we worked at Miss Vegas, did a great job uh, putting the event together, hosting it, and really bringing a whole lot of people together. Uh, got to meet some old friends who know who they are, so it was great seeing all of you. Uh, spent quite a bit of time uh, seeing out a couple of people I actually remember. Uh, Josh and Christy from Indiana spent uh, quite a bit of the evening talking with them. They were very cool, and uh, I think John was his name, and his wife Gina from uh, England. Uh, they were also great fun, and so, uh, and I know I met a lot of other people, and their names pretty much all escaped me. So, uh, if I met you last night, it was a pleasure to do so, and I uh, hope to see you all again someday. Uh, hopefully, maybe Vegas Summit 3. So, and uh, yeah, again, I apologize there wasn't more video. Um, if you want to see more video, I guarantee you in a few weeks when uh, we work to visit Vegas vlogs come out, uh, that he'll have quite a bit of footage, including uh, footage of me possibly even dancing, which is definitely not safe for work. You've been warned. Uh, but yeah, it was great fun. I, I didn't gamble really at all yesterday. I, finally, I think I played just a little bit at New York, New York, because uh, we, we wandered over there after we closed down the bar. Uh, we were going to do a group poll, but the uh, people at New York, New York didn't think that would be a good idea, so we didn't. Saved ourselves some money, probably, but uh, did play just a little bit there and then played a little bit at the Flamingo, but probably the least I've gambled on a first night in Vegas ever. So. I guess, you know, maybe that, that was a good thing. I don't know. I'm going to uh, head out here and get some lunch here pretty quick. Um, and then at some point mid-afternoon, I'm heading downtown. Um, I think uh, given the limited amount of footage that I did earlier, this is going to be kind of a day one into day two vlog, just so it's worthwhile. Otherwise, all you get to see is me sort of making my way here. Um, so we'll give you a look at what I do today. Uh, I am going to uh, the Neon Museum again tonight, doing the guided tour at 8 p.m. I got the last ticket just, just a little bit ago. So I'm excited to be checking that out. It should be after dark, so you know, maybe I think some of the signs are lit up. I don't think all of them, but uh, so I'm looking forward to seeing that and then uh, visiting some of my favorite places downtown. And as I do, I will bring you along if anything exciting happens. And if I'm winning big, I'll make sure to show you that as well. I will not show you if I'm losing big. It's none of your business. <laughs> All right, so off we go. Day two. Stay tuned. Here we have a wheel bonus spin in this game. Let's see what we win. Probably not much. 2,000 would have been good. 50 would be bad. 300, no, no, no. there we go. 30 quarters. I'm rich. Awesome. All right, so we're hanging out here uh, just outside of the Cromwell, across the street from Bally's. So far, the only gambling excitement was a wheel spin that netted me like a total of 10 bucks. <laughs> so, played uh, quite a while at Flamingo this morning. Ultimate X Kino machines, which are way too fun and probably a bad idea. But uh, need to get some lunch, and I think I am gonna go try the Dirt Dog because I live on nothing but hot dog and pizza. So let's go check it out. I guess I can walk and talk. I don't know. Some people when they uh, they do these videos, they uh, always do it in selfie mode. And I'm okay, and I've been doing that a little bit more, but I think it's probably a little more interesting to look at the scenery. Really nice day here today. Not too hot. So, we're going to cross over to Bally's. I, I did a video on this uh, probably a couple of years ago, but uh, I really like to avoid the pedestrian overpass. And so I usually go out the back of the Cromwell. I didn't this time. But if you do, go out the back of the Cromwell, go down here, and there's a light. You can cross over to Bally's, and you're right at the entrance. So yeah, so I'm going to have a dirt dog. Dave and Michelle uh, had my Barbary dog last night and liked it, so I'm going to go try their dirt dog today. Uh, make a nice little snack. 
I'm sure I'll get something later this afternoon downtown, but that's what's going on. Okay, so this is the world famous, semi world famous dirt dog. And I just got the house dog. I suppose is the most sort of standard, boring thing you can get. So it looks like a lot of toppings going on there. But uh, I'm going to dig in and uh, let you know what I think here in a second. So, anyway, here's the verdict. Had a couple of bites. I'm going to finish it. Um, I don't love it. It's like, uh, I like to actually sort of taste my hot dog. And what I'm really getting is so many toppings that it's almost like the uh, hot dog is not so much enhanced by them as it is sort of overwhelmed by them. Um, but it's got a pretty good flavor. Could do with a little less onion uh, for me personally. Maybe a little less uh, mustard. Um, does have it? I, I'm noticing it's got a fairly nice little sort of spicy aftertaste. A little bit of a kick there, and I do like that. So. Um, yeah, would I, would I check it out again? I probably would. I'd probably try something a little different next time. Um, but I mean, it's it's solid. It's, it's you know, obviously a well-made uh, sort of premium hot dog, and uh, I think definitely worth trying. So there you go. redo the rooms they did the pretty much the whole floor in this style which I like okay hey in my room here at the plaza room video to follow um, so um, if you saw the uh, that's some pretty good luck here playing downtown the last uh, couple of hours, so <laughs> maybe it's turning. I didn't do very well this morning at the Flamingo, but uh, uh, did very well at the Plaza. Got uh, the six quick hits for seventy-five dollars, so that was a big help. And then just you know hit some moderate stuff here and there, so it was pretty fun. Um, I think I'm going to head downstairs now and walk up the street and go to one of my favorite places on Fremont Street, and that's Banger Brewing and uh, see if they've got any new and interesting beers for me to try. Um, and I am going to the uh, Neon Museum tonight, so and that's uh, about three and a half hours away, so I uh, have to keep my, uh, keep my senses about me. But uh, anyway, uh, been, haven't really walked around too much here downtown, went over to Golden Gate, and that's about it. So just thought I'd let you know what's up. Need to get something to eat again pretty soon, and... Uh, yeah, whatever I eat or drink, I'll make sure to at least get a picture for you. So, see you soon.
I see 30 in my future. <laughs> this is probably not going to amount to anything, but we'll watch the last few spins and see what happens. I'm at the D and I'm getting killed here. I don't think I'm going to play here anymore. I'm not winning at all. Worse than the strip. We got something with these uh, retriggeries. Get some more of those. Get another one. Everyone, something. We got like, uh, hey, that's not bad, so whatever. Two more games. Last one here. Well, that was nothing to write home about. But thought I'd show it to you. It won seven dollars and ten cents. There you go. Okay, you're gazing at the magic of Pizza Rock. Had to do it. Could have gone somewhere new, but uh, needed a snack, and this is gonna be it. Mighty tasty.